Welcome everyone, this is Amrit. Today I wanna to bring a very important um, call that I had this past Friday, and it was, I think, amongst one of the biggest trucking companies in US. Now, this is something that I see every time with a lot of trucking companies, especially like the bigger fleets, and they, all of them do this mistake. So when I'm going there and I'm meeting and I'm doing consulting with them, teaching them what are the best methods to like have their application process stream, streamline, this is the first thing that I tell them, like, okay, get rid of this. So I want to talk about what this exact thing is and make sure you don't have this going on for your business. It's really, really killing how many driver applications you get. And also it's hurting when they Google you or like they find you or they're like just naturally intrigued by your fleet or when they see your trucks or hear it from other drivers. When they go look for you, that's where you hurt the most. So I'm going to tell you what all this means right now. So let me, let me share, let me talk a little bit layman language. So traditionally what, what I see is most fleets, they, what they will do is they'll have a website. This is their website homepage. So let's say abctrucking.com. Okay, so you go to the site. I'm gonna make a little mouse here. You go to the site. The first thing that I see is like they'll have their logo and then they'll have um, one, two, three, four, five, six. They'll have like five to six like tabs uh, that will be like warehousing or logistics or ship or services or uh, careers or contact us and stuff like that. So when you go click on this, it will have like another menu will, will pop up like this with another seven things in it. Then another seven things here. Then another three things here. And then another two things here. And then another seven things here. They have such a maze going on on the freaking website that let's say if I'm a driver and I saw your truck on the road and I heard from a driver on a truck stop like, hey, hey man, like um, this is ABC Trucking is super awesome. You should come and work here because you have referral bonus for that driver. So he's promoting, your driver's promoting to another driver on that truck stop. That guy's like, okay, I really want to go and apply. Where can I go apply? He's like, yeah, just go to the website and you'll be able to see uh, fill out an application. So the poor guy goes to the website. This is this is the intrigue driver. He or she goes to the website, and then this is what they see. So they can't even find the page where it's like apply now or whatever. Most of the time, like it's like so many things blocking the main in page where this driver needs to go, and. To be honest with you, most bigger fleets, they don't need all this clutter. They already have like dedicated lanes and dedicated freight. They don't need billion things on it. So what I have done with other fleets when I am coaching or consulting or we're doing, we're telling them, okay, here's what you need to do. So the simplified version of this would be, now here's the thing, when you're, when you're hiring like a, and I hear this all the time, every single fleet that I work with, it's like, they're like, oh, Amrit, we're thinking of getting a website built and we've got a mock-up built and they will have something most of the time built from other people. And it will be like a design agency or like a website place who's like charging 25, 30,000 to build like a pretty website with like trucks and logos and 10 million different navigation places. But they don't understand the concept of like, if this driver is coming here, like where is that person applying? Like, why do we have to like have these blockers to have this guy apply to you. You're not, if I do the ratio of like how many people visit your website to do business and how many drivers do it, drivers are the biggest visitors on your site. So if there's 100 people visiting your site every day, almost 70% of that is a driver. And then 30% is just people looking up. And maybe like, maybe 5% are like the people that are shippers that really want to know more about you. So you don't have, you don't have, you don't need all these billion pages for you. And I'll tell you if you really want to like, and we really want to talk about our warehouse and we really want to talk about our logistics arm and we really want to talk about uh, our about us page and 10 million other things. So, and there's a solution to that. And I'll t tell you that in a little bit. What you need to be doing is you need to, and this is the exact same thing I've done for so many uh, established trucking companies and their conversion rate, their trucks have been full, they, they've had better quality applications, the drivers are not frustrated, everything loads faster, everything gets there faster. Um, so what you need to do is, you need to have your logo and you need to have max to max three here. So this could be about us, this could be services, this could be contact us 
and then you have you have apply now here so right on top and this goes right to the application page where drivers can go and start submitting an application like this guy can go directly on the page so he he or she doesn't have to like go through like 10 different drop downs and this and that and blah 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 blah, blah uh, in that to get to the application page now here's another problem that you have and nobody talks about it is when you have your current website what happens is all these guys are coming on their cell phone so you're looking on mobile so on mobile your logo is here and then you have these like hamburger menus or whatever this thing half the time doesn't even work and if it works it will show you 10 million combinations of like these pages to confuse this driver and basically leave him frustrated to like really leave the site and not even apply to you. So you want to make sure even if you have this on mobile, this is so easy to navigate and you have the apply now button on the top. You're not optimizing. You don't optimize for this driver. And I see this happening every single time. And this is like one of the biggest training companies in North America who's doing it and I was like this is so bizarre like we need to fix this for you so that was like a big big turning point now the other thing that you need to do is let's say you're like Amrith okay I really want these pages and I really want to tell about people tell people uh, we do warehouse we do logistics we have like brokerage division we have this and they move that and blah 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 what you can do is and what we've done is every single training company that we work with has that kind of thing going on for themselves so what you can do is when they click on the services page and you don't need like billion pages like don't pay the price of the website because the person is making pages pages doesn't do shit for you all that really matters is are you getting business out of it it's not most websites are like a brochure like it's like ego boost they do nothing for you and we all know when we get like a brochure at a conference what do we do with it just toss it in the bin or we'll bring it home and it just sits and rots and collects dust so let's say somebody does go to your services page what you can do is let's say you have um okay so this is your services page let's go there okay so when you go to like the services page then this is your services page let's say this is your menu right here or like you're defining you can talk about where you ship then you talk about brokerage right here and then you talk about warehousing right here then you talk about local you just have it on one single page and then you can have like the contact us form right here where they can submit a, a free freight request and this is this is such a concept that every single trucking company does it they, every single one of them does this stupidly first thing they have like the website confusing and then when they do have the website um, confusing they should be following this method they have like all these billion things happening the other thing that so you've got the solution here so I'm talking about the back to here the other problem that they have is as soon as they let's say this driver does find the page where it's like apply now or whatever it may be this will turn into drive for ABC dot com so as soon as they click the apply button if they're lucky to ever find it they'll go to drive for abc.com and i tell this so many times i'm like don't do this this is ruining all your efforts because you have another basically another website right here even in our like highest tier coaching program like the first thing i tell them like get rid of this like don't ever ever have more than one domain that's it you only need one domain if you have more than one domain you're doing everything wrong. Trust me when I say that. Why? Okay, so now this guy actually goes here. So here, they got like another thing. They got like the application right here, quick submit or whatever it may be called, quick app. Then they got a whole bunch of other crap here. And then when they apply, they go to like, this goes and it says thank you page or whatever. But here they'll have like another 10 different tabs here again you're doing you're replicating the site you don't need it you just need this stuff right here what you can do is when somebody applies let's say you have local you have uh, OTR positions you have daily home daily whatever it may be you can have it like we have positions available for local home daily OTR we run in these re regions embed a map right here or like take a photo of a map and categorize all the areas that you run and in the back and you can sort out you can have automations plugged in we're in 21st century, this can happen very easily and we teach you how to do that in our programs. 
and you can sort out these guys. You're basically funneling them or like filtering them. These drivers. Oh, this guy is interested in local. This guy is interested in OTR. So in the back end, you're funneling. This guy is interested in regional. So you don't need to throw that up front and don't make like billion pages and then have like another um, place where it's like you have like another job board here. And I saw this was another classic problem. They'll have like a job board basically. You can sort this all in the automation. You have to confuse the people and make billion pages. The more things that you have, the more it's going to confuse you. So the other thing that you need to do is, no, I'm going to get rid of all this. Okay. So what happens is, let's say this driver searches. This is your driver. This is your interested driver. Can I see my little doodle? Okay. <laughs> this is your driver. When they go search on the Google, which we all do, they're like, okay, ABC trucking. The first thing that Google spits out is your ABC trucking.com website. That's the first thing that will come up on Google uh, when they look up for you. Now this is where not your application pages. So now you're confusing them and you have the other domain, which is where the application page is drive for abc.com so they have to navigate from here to here in order to get here to apply which is stupid you want either you want this to pop up here which you have to pay google the money to show this first and then always you're you're breaking your traffic between two sites which is hurting your cost per lead now Google is spending time to SEO this guy or index it or show it on the top. Then you're forcing, Hey, no, 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 no. Show this one because we have drivers also. Why not have this part of this? Like two domains hurt your uh, SEO and your search discoverability even more. That's why I say just focus on one and that's all you really need. You don't need 10 different domains and stuff like that. So that's what I would do. Um, the other, the other thing I would say is, these are the two big things that I've noticed. So what you need to do is just stick with this game plan right here. That's exactly what we do. And I tell this to every trucking company, just have the headline here, your application page here, quick apply or whatever. And then just talk about like your OTR, local, um, regional, and then apply now, embed some little bit of testimonials right here. Like if you're like, hey, I really want to talk about like our flatbed and this and that, just do it all on one single page. You don't need to have one page for your flatbed, one page for your drive and one page for your freaking windmill hauling. Like it doesn't have to be that way. It, it can be only one page and that's exactly what we've been doing. And it's way more successful uh, compared to this stupid page where you have 10 different tabs and then you have like one quick apply right here. And then you have like, okay, hiring now. And then that's it. That's where this page and then you have like a photo if you're lucky and then they just go back here and then you have a photo right here. This is always going to be the winner. Let me make a little trophy. Oh, that's a bad trophy. <laughs> this will always be the winner. I'm basically giving you my secret sauce. Like if honestly, this is what we do. And then back in is where your automation is. And you can sort out drivers based on that. So don't do this. This is, this is a bizarre. And I tell this to all the training companies, don't waste 30,000, $25,000 to make a pretty looking website that does nothing, but just gives you ego boost. And this, this concept will always outbeat this one. So just one domain key takeaways is one domain, one application page, everything in the back. And so you're not showing your clutter in the front. And then if you do need like billions of other pages, make them part of like one same page. If that doesn't work, then go create something that I call down here blog and then just publish blogs about it. That will help your SEO or people to find your business faster than having those drop down menus. They're the worst thing that you can do. They're confusing. They're ugly. Nobody likes them and you can never find where to go. And all big fleets, almost every single big fleet that I work with, or have coached or trained, they all are doing it. So that's the first thing that you want to get rid of. 
Anyway, this was the value for the day. Tomorrow I'll be sharing more about going in deeper of like these landing pages and how, which one performs the best, how to optimize this guy so you get to the point of like this thing is like automatically spitting like high quality drivers for you day and night. Uh, so we'll go into depth of that tomorrow. But th this is it for today. So make sure you're doing this one instead of this one. Get rid of your site. If, if this is something that you want me to take a look at, then drop me a comment below or go to my website and submit an application and we'll look at it and we'll tell you what you need to do. This is Amrit signing off today.